Hello guys and welcome to another Houdini quick tip. In this uh, video I will share a technique uh, about how you can convert your instance geometry to normal Houdini geometry. So when you use the instance node here for scattering for example the environment is what I did for this one. You cannot use this geometry for collision right because it's all instance. And for example, here I have a river. If I want to do the simulation, is uh, the project I'm working on is still not finished. And I want to have a collision with these uh, rocks and stuff. So when the water is moving here, I just want to have a collision, right? So this is a problem I, I encountered in the, during this project. So I will sh show you how you can just convert your instances to normal Houdini geometry so you can later convert to STF and use it for collision for example okay let me just uh, do it here in this scene create a box and a tube and this one is my instance one and this one is two and create instance node and change it to fast point instancing let me just explain the reason i had to use this this instance and not copy to point and use a pack primitive is because i use arnold for rendering so arnold doesn't understand the houdini pack primitives it's only understand the, uh, the fast point instancing so that's the reason i had to find a way to convert this okay so let's just dive in instance node and delete and create a grid then I'm going to a scatter, or you can use a scatter line if you want to have random rotation or P scale. And then change it to 60. Then I need an ID attribute for each point to, to be randomly on each point. So I'm going to use attribute adjust flow integer. This is the quickest way to create. So it's, it's by default it's constant. So you just change it to random and between one and two. And one and two because we have the instance one and two right and create an attribute wrangle connect here and create the instance attribute and give the path to the geometry obj slash instant plus i to a i at id okay so now we have the instance attribute, right? And this one, this function i2a is convert this id integer attribute and just can as uh, added to this string, right? Because this one is a string attribute. And just rename this one to id because the default is variant. Now you can see in spreadsheet we have the random id attribute. Okay. Let me just hide these two instance. Okay. Now you can see we have the, for example, this like a scattered or instance geometry on to these points. Now I need to create an ID attribute and just copy this node for each one of these. Give it the, the number, the ID number that it is. It was like this one, the first one is, uh, let me just change to constant. This is ID one. Just copy this node again and paste here. This is ID 2. Just create a null node for all of this to, because we need to access them in, in another geometry. And then here I create another geometry, convert instances, and just use optic merge, grab the instance output. This is our points and this is our, the instance one just need to select this one and this is instance two just change this one okay now i can use the copy to point this copy to point and merge these two because each one of those is the different id right this is two and this is one just merge these two connect to geometry to copy and this one to the points now as you can see both are on top of each other right but if you check uh, this piece attribute and use the id 
now is exactly like the instance node. So if I turn on and off this convert geometry, you can see both are the same. And now we, we have a like normal Houdini geometry, so his point is not instance anymore, and you can use attribute delete and to delete the uh, other attribute that you don't want, like ID or anything. And then now you can just convert it to STF or any kind of geometry you, you, you need for collision. Okay, so I will share this the scene and put the link in the description so you can download it if you want. So basically that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and be useful to you. Thanks for watching.